Okay, Kuda Malloy here back at you with another more in-depth review of this Trader Joe's Spicy Thai Shrimp Fried Rice. What I did was I took it out of the package straight from the freezer, right? I just got back from Trader Joe's. So I took it out of the freezer. Basically, there's two sections in this bag. There's a little small packet, a plastic packet, as you can see like this, that has the shrimp inside of it. There's about 10 shrimp that are the size of like a quarter inside of this packet with like some kind of flavor mix. So you're, what you're supposed to do is take a tablespoon of olive oil, put it in your skillet. I like this 10-inch non, non-stick skillet from OXO Good Grips. This thing is a workhorse. Uh, I will put a link in the description section there down there below if you're curious to get this skillet. But anyways, and there's some links to some other cool products down there too. But anyways, what you do is, so you put the shrimp in first, just the shrimp, with about a tablespoon of olive oil, cook up the shrimp. They cook up in about a minute and they turn pink. So when they turn pink, like this kind of pinkish kind of color pink... Then you add the rice. So the rice is all loose in here. What I noticed in my case was that the little packet of the shrimp was down at the bottom. That's the way it always is, right? And then it was just surrounded by rice. So I had to dump out the rice onto my cutting board to get to this packet. Then I, So then I put the shrimp in with a tablespoon of olive oil, cooked up the shrimp for about a minute. Then I added all the remaining rice. And I was cooking on a medium heat. So just straight up medium, straight up medium on the biggest burner that I have on my stove, stove top. So then... I would say the rice cooked up in about two to three minutes. So I'd say they're accurate there, right? If you look at the instructions on the back here, it says shrimp fried rice. You get the idea, blah, 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 blah. Cooking instructions, large scale, heat up one tablespoon. I did that. Then it says three to five minutes or until heated through. And I'd say, yeah, it was about like three minutes to completely heat through. What I taste the most, so flavor, what does it taste like? What it tastes like is strong... Thai basil flavor. I think that's what those green parts are. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more, you know, ginger and some like whatever, some garlic flavors. I wasn't getting any of that. What I really picked up the most of was this Thai basil flavor. That's the flavor that came through the most. Okay, heat. Is it spicy? I would say it's like white people spicy. <laughs> you know, like if that's what you want to call it, where like, you feel a mild heat for maybe like about three seconds, three to four seconds, and then it just goes away. Like once you, once you've like swallowed the food, I'd say that lingering heat maybe lasts for like three or four seconds, and then it just goes away. But it's not overpowering. It's nothing weird. You know, if you're thinking about giving this to your kids or like small young ones, it depends. Ask them if they're into spicy food. Let them taste a little bit. But I think I think kids might venture more towards like the traditional like Chinese style fried rice or maybe the Japanese fried rice that maybe isn't as spicy so it just kind of depends you know kids are finicky I know how it goes but in general would this be a crowd pleaser maybe you know you might get that kind of crowd I think now that I think of it another flavor that I'm kind of picking up is like a little bit of like a curry powder taste to it so Thai basil, definitely. That's like the number one flavor that I'm picking up. Then the second flavor I'm getting is like maybe just a little bit of like, like curry kind of a flavor. That's how the rice looks when it's cooked. I could have cooked this a little bit more to crisp it up to make it a little more crunchier, but I just wanted to show everybody how Trader Joe's suggests how it's supposed to be cooked. That's how it looks when it's all said and done. So it does have, I know the camera's kind of funny with the lighting and all that, but it does kind of have a, I'd say like yellowish color to it, maybe leaning towards something like of an orange color to it, like if that's how I would describe it the best. In terms of the amount of shrimp that you get compared to rice, I'd say you get about 5% shrimp and the rest is all rice. It's, it's like I said, it's about 10 little shrimp that are the size of like a quarter, right? So each one is about the size of a quarter. And then it's just mace, basically the rest of it is just all rice. And then you get like a little, once in a while you get like a, like a snow pea or like there was like, that's the, that green stuff is the Thai basil, I think. And then every once in a while you get the speck of red, which I think is supposed to be the red Thai chilies, but I'm not getting the heat from the Thai chili. So spicy, flavorful, it's curry meets Thai basil is the, is the 
the flavor that I'm getting, not really the spice. And the spice, like I said, maybe there's like a kick for like three seconds after you after you eat it, and then that kind of flavor goes away. So it's not a lingering heat. Anyways, I will put some links to some cool products like this pan down in the description section down there below. To, so make sure to check that out. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or comments. Post them down below. But that was my review of the Trader Joe's Spicy Thai Shrimp Fried Rice. Would I buy it again? Maybe. You know, if I want if I want that kind of curry flavored rice with a lot of Thai basil flavor, maybe. But it would it wouldn't be like my go to like oh my god I gotta have this every week kind of a thing. So that's my opinion. Anyways, catch you on the next video.